Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today I'm going to show you how to change the screen on your iPhone 10. Now to make this video short and to the point, I will assume that you've already seen the video of me removing the screen. If not, there's a link in the description, and there should be one on the top of this video. So once the screen is removed, we will grab the J000 or PH000 and remove the three screws on the top of the screen. Remember to keep these in order. The screw in the middle has a gold piece attached to it, so make sure to keep that in place when you put the phone back together. Once the three screws are out, carefully lift the speaker off the display, like shown, and bend it back. There is some adhesive on the left side of the speaker, and it is up to you to leave it there or remove it. Either way, the next piece we want to take off is the light sensor bar and remove the flood illuminator very carefully. Once those are off, the front microphone is the last thing holding that cable in place. Once that is removed, you can move the pieces onto the new screen. When you get the new screen, make sure there's plastic holders on the top. If there aren't any, then you'll have to move them from the old screen to the new screen. In my case, the screen has those pieces attached, so we'll move on. When you set the top flex cable assembly into the screen, I recommend plugging the flood illuminator in place and then the light sensor bar. And then lastly, the microphone. Once that's done, you want to flip the front speaker back into place and start putting the screws back in. Like I said before, remember that that middle screw has a gold piece and make sure that it's pointing straight up. And now I will show you how to put the phone back together, which is pretty much the same thing as the second half of the disassembly and assembly video. So we will start with the top cable and plug it back into place. Now we will plug in the two LCD cables. Make sure not to force any of those cables in or you might damage the phone permanently. Next we will plug in the battery and check to see if the phone is working fine. If everything is all good, power off the device and prop the screen up again. Make sure that all the cables are plugged in properly and put the metal cover in place. Grab the Y000 driver and start putting the screws back in the spots that they go. Once all the screws are in place, then you can set the screen down. I recommend starting at the top, but it doesn't matter too much because the clips are the only thing that are holding the top and the sides down. You can turn on the phone and make sure it's working fine, and grab the P2 driver one last time and screw in the bottom two screws. And now we're done. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above and subscribe if you want more review or how-to videos. Thanks for watching.